Well, hey guys, this is N1CY, and we're going to talk about some uh, digital modes, radios that will do digital modes. That's for voice communication and data. And what we got here, we got the Titera DMR radio on the left of the screen. And we're listening to uh, TAC 310, which is push to talk activated. And DMR is basically uses the internet as the backbone. Uh, for communication for wide area linking and communication is uh, Used to be initially a commercial mode, but it was embraced by hams and you know hams are very resourceful and uh, So uh, Okay And this is uh, This is a uh, this is basically echo link connection to the darn system. The station is requesting somebody to talk to them. They connected to the darn system. So anyway, we uh, we will uh, put that aside for now, and uh, we'll carry on with the uh, DMR uh, and also the Yesu Fusion. This is a Yesu Fusion radio. Yesu has their own uh, uh, digital voice and data communication with the Yesu Fusion. So this is one of their handhelds, the Yesu FT1DR, which has a built-in GPS. I have talked about this radio before in previous videos. And um, so basically, uh, this radio will do APRS, it will do Yesu Fusion in a wide and narrow mode. The narrow mode will uh, transmit data and voice. And the wide mode will transmit pretty much enhanced voice so it will basically take more spectrum space to make your voice quality more uh, better basically and a DMR radio this is a Titera MD380 DMR radio and this radio uh, basically it's a UHF version there's also a separate uh, a VHF version uh, so DMR it's a TDMA Time Division Multiple Access and the Yesu Fusion is FDMA Frequency Division Multiple Access so they're kind of different uh, the DMR will utilize uh, more spectrum efficiency <coughs> so you can have uh, multiple stations on one repeater and basically what it does it just uh, puts you in a time slot in separate time slots there's typically two time slots for a pair of stations so you can have two stations talking on a local uh, time slot and the other two stations talking on a wide area link network time slot it's different with Yesu and so um, you know both modes are uh, really cool um, and there's also another mode uh, well there are actually several other modes but those are the two main ones and there's another a one that I can't talk about because I don't have that radio which is the D-Star and uh, D-Star is much older uh, the one factor with D-Star digital communication is it doesn't have forward error correction but it uh, also uses the internet as the backbone for wide area linking um, Yesu has a wires X component to it which is basically internet linking and wide area linking and it and everything goes through a uh, localized server in Japan and uh, basically what happens is um, you communicate worldwide through the server in Japan uh, you have to have a wires X box connected to your computer and of course your computer has to be connected to the internet and uh, the, on the other side, you have a node radio, a Yesu Fusion dedicated node radio. And you can talk all over. Um, DMR is a little different. Uh, you can have servers on the hilltop. And these servers, multiple servers in different places, they take you to pretty much anywhere you want to go worldwide. Um, so it's a little bit more resourceful that way. Anyway, it's a little older than the Asu Fusion, so uh, that's the difference there. 
So those are the main elements of both DMR and Yesu Fusion. Again, DMR is more is designed originally for spectrum efficiency for commercial use, and then it was embraced by hams. And Yesu Fusion was designed basically for ham radio from the onset. So it was all designed for ham radio. Uh, well, there you go, guys. Um, thank you for watching this short video that talks about DMR and Yesu Fusion. And hopefully we'll uh, uh, get a chance one day to talk about D-Star. And like I said, D-Star is uh, older than Yesu Fusion. But it does have some uh, handicap with the uh, forward error correction that both DMR, which is Moto Turbo by the way, DMR and Moto Turbo are the same. And the Yesu Fusion has also forward error correction. Uh, anyway, other digital modes are P25, APCO P25, which is a Motorola, uh, you know, mode of communication, digital, and that's a lot of public safety, law enforcement, use that with encryption. And then you have also the Next Edge, which is the Kenwood commercial uh, mode for digital voice communication and data. Uh, Kenwood doesn't have, uh, so far, they don't have anything for the amateur radio community, for ham radio, digital voice, not yet. So I don't know if they'll come out with something in the future. Um, nowadays, the uh, DMR radios are readily available. You can get them really cheap. This one... I got from Connect Systems. It was on sale for $130. Uh, the, the radio Yesu Fusions, uh, 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 like the Yesu here, they're a little bit more expensive. Um, so uh, just different, uh, basically, settings. And this Yesu Fusion radio here is the FDM 400, which I, I've covered extensively in my previous videos. But this radio will do APRS, Yesu Fusion, and uh, it's really cool. You can connect to a, a wires X node. Let me show you how you connect to a wires X mode. There's one local for John WB6 Alpha Juliet Echo. So I'm going to put the radio. I'm going to go to uh, John's basically wires X frequency. BFO. So this is John's wires X frequency. Now this is a digital node, so I'm going to go to digital here, DN mode, and then what you do is you press the DX button right here, and you hold it down. So we're connected now. So we're connected to John's node, and he's connected to KD6IOW room 2. So this is really cool. And let's see if John or, or KD6IOW are listening. Uh, good morning, guys. This is N1CY. Anyone listening on the node? I know it's kind of early, but let's see if anybody's listening. N1CY. Okay. I don't think anyone listening. But that's how you connect to a node. And there's another node at the ham radio outlet in Anaheim. And then once you establish the connection, you know, you can control it. You can go to different places and stuff like that. And uh, you can go into a room with multiple stations and have a round table. Anyway, thanks for listening. And we tried to keep that video short. So uh, it's barely uh, 10 minutes long. And thank you again. And this is November 1, Charlie Yankee. Enjoy ham radio.